Hello, um, a book that I just read recently is called, is this book called Miserable Miracle by Henri Michaud. Henri Michaud is a, or was a Belgian born poet um, who I think spent most of his time living in France and he was born at the end of the 19th century and he is primarily known for his writings about his interactions and experiences with psychedelic drugs such as um in this book particular in this book in particular he talks about um the drug mescaline as well as hashish but mostly on mescaline and if for those who are unfamiliar with what mescaline is mescaline mescaline i'm not trying to pronounce it but those who are those of you who are familiar with it or unfamiliar with it i mean mescaline is a psychedelic um naturally occurring compound that i think from what i understand is can be found in certain um, kinds of cactus. It's a kind of cactus or something, or you know, you can find the the drug in the cactus. And historically, um, the the development of mescaline into the popular culture came about. I think I'd like to say in the early twentieth century, when a lot of these people, scientists, artists, philosophers, were very were very much exp you know experimenting very slowly experimenting with these kinds of drugs um in order to kind of achieve um alternate states of consciousness now this book in particular um miserable medicine miserable miracle is about his experiences with um mescaline and hashish the book is written in this very interesting um expression it, it feels very expressionist i think um in the way that when you read it he 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 writes in a way that makes it makes you makes the reader feel like you are with him in the moment of his experiencing these um psychedelic um experiences uh the way he writes is very fascinating and it's very compelling and it feels like he somehow manages to recreate a a, a some semblance of being inside his head uh, which is kind of um, incredible and he, he it's so fascinating to read the book because I'll, I'm gonna try to show you a bit of it if you look at the book um, you have the regular text and then you have these like little side texts um, things on the side uh, they're just kind of random um, random thoughts or random um, bursts of just you know um, imagery or whatnot to kind of coincide with uh, the regular flow of the narrative so it's like um he has like many sidebars so he gives you this very um strong narrative account of being in the moment of these um, experiences and while at the same time like it's as if he has like a separate part of his brain or uh, you know or our brain like has these this kind of running commentary of random things going on as well like you know something like it could be anything from just random um thing he noticed from this you know from like random color or something or for example here's a random thought he had was to enter into the visions of mescaline the giraffes must grow even taller makes no sense but you know random you know it's funny because uh he it, it is some of the most um it's um it's it's like some of those incredible writing I've ever had the experience to kind of read because it, not because of it's like it's it's because I think he's somehow very articulate about his experiences in a way that I feel may seem at first kind of disconcerting or um, confusing perhaps, but it takes some time to kind of embrace the um, absurdity of. The things he ki he's kind of talking about, I mean, you kind of just play along with him, with the journey that he kind of takes you on in these um, experiences. It's quite a ride, and it's a very short book, you know, it's like um, 80, 80, 90 pages long, you know, 80 something pages long, and it has a couple of chapters. He goes back and forth between mescaline and, and Indian hemp or hashish. You have little bits of, he has like drawings as well on it. Um, and what fascinates me about this guy is because he's, I don't think he's very, he's not very famous, I think. He's not very popular, not very well known. But, you know, you're able to read his writing and it's so, it just feels so, 
lived. And, you know, I mean, it's very interesting to see because obviously, how many other experiences can you, how many, how, how many other um, times can you say that reading something gives you the, you know, it, you know, gives you this kind of alternate, you know, way, um, way of processing the environment of the world. It's just, it's, it's kind of, um, I highly recommend reading this if in any way you are interested in what it may be to kind of experience these psychedelic drugs you know without actually engaging in them personally it'll give you some kind of um insights on just what what kinds of um what kinds of variations and um what kinds of changes can occur both visually and kind of in the realm of consciousness when one kind of engages in these drugs and when you feel when you read this thing it feels like you know feels like you're you are him you know you he calls it experimental schizophrenia which i think is kind of hilarious um <laughs> it's funny he 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 writes in a way that he makes it sound like he is kind of he's doing it for the science he's not doing it out of a kind of feeling of you know of what's the word for it you know pleasure or something he's doing it out of curiosity and being interested in it um and you know he's he's quite an interesting figure and i have one of his other books here called the darkness moves it's like a collection of his writing his essays which i want to check out as well um but yeah i really highly recommend this book um it's very short i read it in one morning um yeah um on Rima Show's Miserable Miracle.